All right, so now that we have pretty much all our variables here, we can go and start setting up our items here. So let's add in a function. We'll call this spawn player, and this will no doubt indeed spawn the player. So we're going to go to player is equal to sk sprite node, and the color of this player, we're going to add in a color and a size. The color will be off white color. Okay, and you can see that it pops up right there, and we're going to go to player size. Okay, but we can also go to player dot size is equal to player size, and this is what well, we need to to add this in here if we add, need to add in our own art, and if we so want to. So technically, it does it does work there. Some people like to get rid of that, but if you're setting it again, it doesn't necessarily matter. Just make sure that the same value. All right, so let's go to player. Okay, and we need to go um, player dot position is equal to goal position. Okay, and we'll make it equal to goal position one. Okay. And now we need to add in some physics here. So player dot physics body is equal to sk physics body. And we're going to go to rectangle of size, and the size is going to be player dot size. Okay, and player, question mark, size, exclamation mark, um, well, just like that here. And of course, what we need to do is put that into brackets like that. Okay, there we go. We're going to go to player dot affected, or player dot physics body dot affected by gravity is equal to false because we do not want it affected by gravity. We're going to go to player dot physics body dot category bit mask is equal to physics category dot player. Okay, and remember that physics category was the struct we set up earlier. We're going to go to player and we're going to go to, oh, so we got player here. We're going to go to con, um, dot physics body dot contact test bit mask is equal to uh, physics body dot mine. Or in this case, actually, we'll go to dot goal physics body or physics category dot goal okay and then we're going to go to player dot physics body dot dynamic is equal to false and then player dot physics body dot allows rotation is also equal to false okay we need to add it a name so we're going to go to player dot name is equal to two quotes player name all right, and so we're going to add to go self dot add child is equal to player. And there you go. So now we've set up the player. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and let's set up the mine here. Okay. So we're going to add in a randomly spawning generator in a different tutorial, but let's set up the logic here. So we're going to go to spawn mine and we will go and add into mine here. So first of all, we're going to set up a random x and a random y. So let's say let random x is equal to int int, and then it's going to be arc for random underscore uniform, okay? And we'll make it something like 500 plus 300, so that's going to put it in between 500 and 300. And if you want to save time because for some reason the arc for random is not in the autocomplete, it might be getting rid of it, which is kind of annoying. But in any case, we'll just go ahead and let's just say, yeah, we can actually go 500. In this case, we'll actually do 150. So we'll put it in a random x and a random y. So every mine that we spawn, we're going to giving we'll be giving it a random location. Okay. So we'll say mine is equal to sk sprite node, and the sprite node is going to be off black color. The size is going to be mine size. Okay. And then if we want to add in our own art here, we're going to go to mine dot size is equal to mine size. Okay. There we go. And then we need to go to mine dot position is equal to, and we're going to say it's a CG point. And that CG point here is going to be, uh, the CG point is going to be random X 
and random Y. Pretty good stuff. Okay, we're going to go to mine dot physics body. And we're going to set up the physics now is equal to SK, SK physics. SK mine. Um, oh, and, and for some reason there's an extra space here. So mine dot physics body is equal to SK uh, physics body. Yep. And we're going to go to rectangle size. We'll add in, um, we'll add this bracket here. We'll go to mine dot size and exclamation point. And then we're also going to go to mine dot physics body dot affected by gravity is equal to false mine dot physics body dot category bit mask is equal to physics category dot um, we're going to go to physics category dot mine and then we're going to go to mine dot physics body dot contact test bit mask is equal to physics category dot um, we're going to go to physics category dot in this case we're going to go to player because that's pretty much only the thing that's going to be reacting here I'm going to go to mine dot dynamic dot actually dot physics body first dot dynamic is equal to in this case we'll make it equal to true and we're going to go to mine dot allows or dot physics body dot physics body dot allows rotation is equal to false all right we also go to need a mine dot name is equal to mine name right self dot add child and we're going to add the mine wow all right then so we now have both of those there let's add in another function here and this other function is going to be spawn goal okay you know, spawn the goal here and what we're going to do is we're going to go to goal dot is goal is equal to sk sprite node and we're going to add in a color here. We're going to say it's off white color, goal size, and we'll add in our goal dot size is equal to goal size. All right, and then we need to go to goal dot position is equal to goal position one. Perfect. We're going to say goal dot physics body is equal to SK physics body and we're gonna go to goal dot size and make sure your brackets are correct all right and, and you can see that you know one thing about sprite kit is that you do need to set things up again and again goal dot physics body dot affected by gravity is equal to false goal dot physics body dot category bit mask is equal to physics category dot goal goal dot physics body dot contact test bit mask is equal to physics category dot player goal dot physics body dot dynamic is equal to true and then goal dot allows rotate or dot physics body dot allows rotation is equal to false goal dot name is equal to goal name and then we're also going to go to self dot add child and goal wow okay so we're going to end this right here because in the next tutorial we'll be adding in our labels See you then.